Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is a custom ACL workshop on dice coefficient. And really this is the continuation off of my previous video where I covered my most favorite features in ACL 11. So lots of great updates, but really I think the best update, at least in terms of usefulness, has been um, this new feature called, new function called dice coefficient. So basically what dice coefficient does is it gives you a score between 0 and 1 comparing two different strings on how similar they are. So let's get started. Okay. So I'm just going to do a count and this is very similar to my previous videos where I like to loop through words. Essentially what we're going to do is we are going to loop through each of the merchant names. Do duplicate check and then see if any of them are similar and the reason why we want to do that analysis is that if they are similar uh, perhaps we want to normalize the names to see if they are the same so that when we run our duplicate checks uh, across the whole lot of variables that we're looking at we can better understand uh, which of these are actually true duplicates so here I'm gonna I have this new script already I'm going to open merchant sum and I'm going to go use the function called locate record and I recommend that you may I'll include a link below that will link to my keyword search or my ngrams video where you can better understand uh, how why we're using this function or using locate record. So there are a number of ways you can do this but this is just one of the ways I like to do it. So here we're just going to increment it every time we run through it. And then I'm going to create this field called V merchant, and it's going to be equal to a merchant name. And I'm just going to do some normalization around this. I'm going to do a replace. I'm going to replace char 34, which is uh, quotations with a blank, just because it messes up some of the analysis. So here I'm going to extract fields merchant. I'm going to do sub merchant name 1 to 50 or maybe 1 to 100 make it 100 characters long as merchant name and that's just to make sure that things extract properly <clears throat> and then I'm going to do the same thing sub in this case I can do v merchant name quotation I'm going to put this all in quotation I'm going to make this 100 again, and I'm going to put as merchant compare. And then as well, I'm going to put the what, what I call the dice coefficient, which is basically comparing the two strings and their values. So here, I'm going to, that's right, and then I'm going to go quotation v merchant name. And then basically I'm going to compare these two strings. I'm going to multiply it by one just so I can, and I'm going to call this dice score. Uh, I'll just actually call it just dice coefficient. Two merchant duplicates. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to create this v append field and I'm going to say it's append unless v unless it's going to be blank unless v counter is equal to one and then i'm going to open it down here and i'm going to type in the word v append so i'll append it if it's not the first record being exported or first time it's running through so i'm going to run this quickly there's twelve thousand different vendors so it will take a little while to run so you can see it's gonna take a little while to run, so I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna stop it now. It's probably run a couple times at this point. Okay. Yep. I actually forgot. It's not V Merchant name. It's V Merchant. So I'm just gonna make that quick update. Run this again. So. 
it's important to be exact in an ACL. So here, I'm going to stop it. Take a look here. And essentially what's done here is just compare the scores. <clears throat> so if these are, we don't want them to be when they're not equal. That way you can get an understanding of how close these, these uh, different analysis are. So you can see here some good examples. In this case, it's all, actually, let me just get rid of this. Looks like it's only gone through a couple times, a couple different variables. Yeah, I'm going to include a couple other variables here. So I'm going to include v counter times 1 as counter. Just so we know. So we're just going to let that run for a minute or so. Yeah, I think that's probably enough times at this point. It's going to escape. So you can see, you can even, for example, filter on when it's greater than 0.75 and see when they are pretty similar. So you see here, 2001 audio video is obviously going to be picked up when it's compared to number number 40. And things like, obviously, the Mac stores are pretty similar in nature. We can even go even higher similarity. We can go 0 0.985 and see which ones are. So you can see Bucker 2. Uh, so you can see this is a really great way to identify all these duplicates and how you can normalize your data so that when you run your full duplicate analysis, uh, this is a great way to start limiting what you need to look at so you can reduce your false positives or uh, catch everything that you need to catch. So if you have any questions, comments, anything else you want me to cover, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. And I look forward to see speaking to you next time. Thank you.